Hey guys, today I'm, uh, I'm just going to do a short video before I uh, go to sleep. So tomorrow we're going to have a level 30 boss strike. And a lot of people have been wondering how to go about it. It's a level 30 Raja Kylo. Um, it is difficult if you don't cheese it. But if you do decide to cheese it, it's going to be so easy. It's ridiculously easy. You could just literally just beat it with... A bunch of level one dinos, a bunch of common dinos. Um, so uh, this is how we're gonna go about it. So uh, let me first scare you guys by throwing out a level thirty Raja Kylo um, stats. Uh, let me pull this up really fast. All right, so at level thirty, <laughs> uh, uh, Raja Kylo has uh, five thousand eight hundred thirty-one HP. Uh, 1093 attack and don't forget it also has a counter attack so times that by two if it's not gonna crit which it has a decent chance of critting since it has an extended critical strike which increases crit chance by 60% for three turns it also has long protection so that's 50 more percent uh, to it's a defense already with 30% armor 104 speed is kind of bad <laughs> to be honest 5% uh, crit um also has pinning strike, so you can't swap, I guess. And then uh, you also have uh, instant invincibility. So that's a Roger Kylosaurus. It's it's a really strong dino. Um, it's on par with uh, Ankentosaurus. Although I personally feel like Ankentosaurus is a bit stronger. It um, Kentro just dishes out a bit more uh, damage in the long run uh, in comparison to Roger Kylosaurus. Um, Raja Kylosaurus doesn't really have too much damaging moves going for it. It only has extended uh, critical strike, and that's about it. You're probably not going to use pinning strike a lot. Um, like you're, I mean, you're going to use a lot since after the two moves are gone or three moves you count long invincibility. Um, you don't really have much to, to use, but um. You're not using it for a purpose, well, Ankentro's Null Strike actually has a purpose. So I personally think Ankentro's a bit better, um, but uh, Raja Kylo is, uh, nevertheless, a really strong dino, but uh, for the Strike event, it is actually not hard at all, because um, unlike an actual arena battle against an actual level 30 uh, Raja Kylo source, although this is also an actual level 30 Raja Kylo source, um, you need to defeat this level 30 Raja Kylosaurus. You'll need to defeat all three of your opponent's dinos. Um, your opponent doesn't have any other dinos, it's just a level 30 Raja Kylosaurus. And you can use four dinos to kill one dino, and that's actually really easy. And there's also another, there's a trick to killing Raja Kylosaurus, and um, that is quite simple. So, here's for you guys who don't have legendaries or epics or you know, obviously, if you don't have legendaries, you probably don't have uniques. So, for those of you who don't have uniques, don't have legendaries, and you don't even have that because you don't have any epics, no racks, no whatever, use this strat. It's even better than using epics. It's even better than using, you know, unique dinos. Um, this strat is better than using a full team of uniques. Um, if you're using a full team of uniques, you could you have a pretty good chance of losing, actually, than using this strat of using one rare dino and two commons. Okay, three commons, but the other one isn't really used at all. So uh, here's how we go about using it. So you bring a level one Sukumimus, or at least level one. I mean, I guess if you have a level 23 Sukumimus, then you could use that as well. Uh, level At least level one Sukumimus. And I'm telling you guys, this is like the minimal requirements. Like, obviously, there's better dinos you could use if you have them, but it doesn't really matter. It Same results, exact same results. It doesn't really matter. Level 1 Sukumimus, level 1 Apatosaurus, level 6 Spinosaurus, and we just had the Spino event on, um, oh, I think Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, we got, like, how many attempts? 12 attempts or something? 18 attempts, I think, on Spinosaurus. That's enough for a level one newcomer, like a beginner player to unlock Spinosaurus. All you need is to unlock Spinosaurus, they unlock at level six, and then uh, get a whatever dino. 
Like last time, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be level one Drake Rex Gen 2, level one Sarko, Sukis, it doesn't matter. It could be a Indominus Rex. That last Dino doesn't matter at all. And here's how you go about this. So, uh, first of all, um, the first Dino you're going to throw out is uh, Spinosaurus. So Spinosaurus is faster than Rajakylosaurus, so you're going to attack first. So you use Gashing Wound, and that does, um, how much? I think it was 0.2 or 0.3 damage. Uh, Gashing Wound, oh no, Gashing Wound is 30% of uh, Rajakylosaurus' HP for two turns. So since it's based on Rajakylosaurus's HP, so that's 30% of its HP gone on turn one with a level six um, spine, uh, Spinosaurus and it doesn't account for your uh, attack, uh, your base attack or whatever. So level six, level 20 does the same amount of damage. So it doesn't matter, just bring a level six. Go in there, 30% uh, of its HP gone, 70% left. And then Rajakylosaurus is probably gonna one shot you. <laughs> So your Spinosaurus is dead. And then next, throw out a Patasaurus or the other dino that you're not going to use. Just anyone but Sukumimus. Do not throw in Sukumimus and then throw in that dino. And don't attack it, swap into Sukumimus. Sukumimus has a swap in wound which does 25% of Rajakylosaurus's health for two turns. And bleed stacks. So you still have one more turn of gashing wound from uh, Spinosaurus from last turn. So uh, after you throw Sukumimus in, that's 25% more uh, bleed damage. So that is, that stacks up this turn for 55% of its health. And last turn, 30% of its health is already gone. So all you need is to do the last 15% of its damage. And here is where um, a Pap source comes in. So uh, what you need to do is just survive one more turn. And this is why you need to bring one other dino other than a Patasaurus. Because if you throw out a Patasaurus immediately, uh, level 1 Apatosaurus does survive a hit from a Rajakylosaurus. It even survives a crit from Rajakylosaurus. But it does not survive the second counter. So if you attack Rajakylosaurus, you're dead. So here's a trick. So you bring out the other dino, and then you swap in a Patasaurus so you don't have to attack a Rajakylo. And Rajakylo hits you with an attack. A level 1 Apatosaurus does not get one shot by Rajakylosaurus if it doesn't counter. It doesn't use its counter. If you don't attack it, it's not going to counter, so you just swap it in. And then um, for one turn, uh, your um, uh, Sukumimus' uh, swap in wound still has one more turn. It'll take 25% away from Rajakylosaurus, and Rajakylosaurus is dead. Super easy. All you need is a level 6 Spinosaurus, level 1 Sukumimus, level 1 Apatosaurus, and something else, and that just finishes it obviously if you have better dinos you could use those as well um obviously for a substitute for uh spinosaurus you could find so many substitutes for spinosaurus uh you could throw in sucatator um you could throw in spino gen 2 uh spinotoraptor spinotoraptor has gashing wound as well although i personally think spinosaurus is a bit better than spinotoraptor in this particular situation but it doesn't really matter um you could use them interchangeably uh, obviously, um, most people should have Spinosaurus if they have Spinoraptor. Um, a Sucatator and Spinogen 2 are good because they have Lethal Wound. Lethal Wound does a bit more damage, and it's, it sustains one more turn, so it's three turns of, I think, 33% uh, damage, so you don't even need to swap in the, uh, Sukumimus. you just have to survive for, um, three turns. Uh, or technically two turns after the first turn of your uh, lethal wound. And it also does one times damage. That's how, you know, you kill it in three turns. And for Apatosaurus, uh, obviously if you have higher level of Apatosaurus, that's great. Um, if you don't, uh, I mean, if you don't have a level one Apatosaurus, I mean, I guess if you just started playing, uh, just started playing this week, and you didn't get any Apatosaurus because Apatos are Dawn and Dusk spawns and you don't play at Dawn and Dusk. And you don't have a single Apatosaurus. I guess you could use Anki Gen 2. Um, Anki Gen 2s are everywhere. So, you know, if you don't have one at the moment, just go, go outside and literally just 
find one and dart one. Stegosaurus works too. You'll have to level that thing up a bit. You need to survive at least one hit from the Radicalosaurus. And really, this event is not hard at all. Um, obviously, you got so many more things to um, replace uh, Pado with. like um, And also, um, Spinosaurus, I forgot one more. Uh, Sp Spinosaurus, if you have that, you can use that. Like, no need to use Indominus Rex. No need to use... Uh, Monomimus, no need for Velociraptor, no need for, you know, Trico, Indo, you don't need any of those. Just super easy. Um, two bleed dinos, one a Pado, and one whatever dino just for their, to swap in a Pado. And you'll beat it, profit, a free Epic Incubator. People always complain about, oh, how hard these, um, some of these Epic Strike events are, and a lot of them are hard. The last one was really hard. Um, the one last week was extremely hard. Um, but this one is super easy, free epic incubator, everyone gets it, <laughs> so yeah, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll try with two accounts, um, the other, uh, uh, my brother has an account, and, um, let's, uh, I'll see if he wants to go out and try that, it's gonna be fun, um, rarely do we get a chance to cheese, um, strike events with bleed, since, uh, the epic strike events that we've been getting either had, like, you know, Indominus with Immunity, or Indoraptor with Cleanse, Alankylosaurus with Cleanse, Gorgosuchus with Cleanse, and we finally get one that we could cheese with uh, Bleed, and that's going to be super fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Also, Indominus Rex is tomorrow. I'll be doing that as well. Hopefully, I'll get something good. It's going to be super hard. It's going to be... It's probably going to be the Spinosaurus animation. And as some person in comments keep on telling me that Spino is really easy to dart. I... I... You must be super good at darting. Spinosaurus is... Probably one of the hardest dinos to dart in the game. Um, if you ever darted Spinosaurus, that thing is extremely hard. Spinosaurus is top three hardest dinos to dart in the game. I fully expect Indominus Rex to be hard, way harder than Indoraptor to dart, um, despite Indoraptor being unique. But we'll see tomorrow, I guess. It could be either super hard or just really hard. <laughs> Depends if it's Rex or Spinal Animation, but anyways, this is a quick thing um, to put out there. People have been asking me, and I'm just gonna, instead of uh, individually uh, answering uh, you guys, or um, you know whatever, I'll just put post this up. I also wrote an article on MetaHub on this as well. I'll link that down below. And uh, good luck, guys. You know what? I'm not even gonna say good luck. You you guys don't need luck tomorrow. You don't even need luck for this one. This one's easy. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess good luck on the incubator. Um, on the contents of the incubator. Free incubator, everyone. Fun for everyone.